What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversich from Pixel Feed here. And in this video, we're going to talk about if you should have multiple Facebook pixels in your store, in your ad account, business manager, and so on. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So, a lot of you have been asking this question lately of if you should have multiple pixels in your store or your ad account. Well, the answer is yes or no. So before we get into it and I give you some examples on when you should do it and when you should not do it, let's talk about what the pixel is just in case somebody's watching this and they don't know what the Facebook pixel is. The Facebook pixel, it's pretty much that, a pixel uh, that's uh, encoded uh, in your website and you know just like a pixel like a color picture and that it's a script that sends information back to your ad account uh, on Facebook and then that's what makes the ad account learn from your customer behaviors and what's going on in your store all that information is stored on the ad account side of things uh, on the Facebook server side and Facebook optimizes that information, optimizes your campaign to get all the object objectives that you're looking for, for example, a purchase or an add to cart or a lead. All right, the way it works is, once you give Facebook all this information, Facebook pretty much knows how much money you spend, what you spend your money on, what credit card you use, what time of the day, how often you do it, and it knows when to present that ad or to put that ad in front of you. And that's what makes it very powerful. All platforms have a pixel. You have Facebook has a pixel, Google has a pixel, Snap, uh, TikTok, you name it, they have it. Okay, so let's go over and when you should have multiple pix uh, pixels and when you should not. So if you have a store with very, very, very different audiences. So let's say one audience is yoga and the other one is football, <laughs> you know, related products. Those are two completely different audiences and you should definitely have two different pixels and two separate ad accounts. I never recommend using uh, two pixels on the same account. I usually try to separate them. Uh, per ad account. You want to use a pixel per ad account and keep everything separated if you have one store with completely different audiences like this. If you have a store uh, that's one audience, so let's say pets, okay, and you sell dog toys and cat toys, right? Those are two similar audiences. So you should be only using one pixel. How is this a similar audience and how is this not a similar audience? These are two very different niches. Football and yoga are two completely different niches. Here, we have one niche will be under the pets niche, right? That's the main niche. And then you have dogs, cats, and other pets. So you should definitely use only one pixel here and to separate uh, your niches inside the niche, you should do what's called custom conversions. And I actually have a video on the channel, I'll put the link in the description that shows you how to create custom conversions. So if you wanna sell uh, cat toys, you create your custom conversion or your custom conversion, your custom purchase conversion for cat toys, for cat related products and you create your custom uh, conversion for your dog related products. So that's when you use custom conversions and you keep it to one pixel. That's another example. Another example is to have it as a backup. All right, and as we all know, if you're watching this, you know Facebook's algorithm can get really trigger happy and ban accounts left and right. So always have a secondary pixel as a backup that you just use as a backup. Just let it sit there. You can create multiple pixels on your, under your business manager and just set up a separate pixel as your backup on a different, uh, actually don't do it in your same business manager, do it in a completely different business manager. So you can have, I think it's up to two. I don't know if they changed it, but you can have two different business managers. So always have a backup pixel on a different business manager in case one ad account goes down or your business manager gets account or your whole profile goes down, you have a backup pixel that you can use and a backup ad account too. You should always, always, always have a backup ad account that's just sitting there and ready to go. So that's another example. Uh, what else? Uh, so let me give another example. So another example for multiple pixels is if you have 
um, a brand that has multiple websites. So for example, I actually run ads for a worldwide brand and don't ask me why they do this, but they actually have three different websites. They have one for the US, they have one for uh, Europe, and they have one for the rest of the world, All right? So each website has their own ad account, right? So you have three different ad accounts for three different websites for the same brand, right? And then to top it all off, we stack it with a master pixel. And believe it or not, when you use the master pixel, which has the data from everything else, you gotta remember this brand started over a decade ago. So they've been around for a long time. That's why they have multiple websites and that's why they do it this way. And believe it or not, it's 50-50. Like sometimes we use the master pixel and sometimes we use like each ad account with each, uh, well, obviously you use each ad account for each website, but each specific pixel. And it tends to perform better with the specific pixel for each part of the world with that specific website. Even though the master pixel holds the information for all of them, that still when you niche it down uh, closely together like that, it's gonna perform better because you gotta remember, the master pixel itself is gonna keep the track, it's gonna keep track of the data of everything that's going on on every website all around the world, right? And Facebook is just not there where it optimizes and it can perform just as well as one pixel to one specific area of the world. Now, again, this was started many years ago. What do I think you should do moving forward? Again, you should have a backup. You should always have a backup. So always have a backup ad account, always have a backup pixel and a different business manager. But I don't think we should keep complicating things the way out. Facebook is moving towards the AI being very smart and, and very well, very good at doing what it does best. It's allocating your spend to where it's most likely to convert. And as the algorithm gets better and computing power gets faster, it's gonna get more simplified. There's no need to overcomplicate things, okay? So if I was starting a new ad account today and a new store today, I would just create two pixels, once as a backup, one backup ad account, and then my main pixel, and then the main ad account, okay? And then when you run your ads, what you can do is you can actually target by the world or by the continent, Europe, or by the country, okay? So I would suggest you test different locations of the world on your own and see how it does, or different niches and how it does. The other thing that you gotta, that you gotta, um, what do you call it, think about is that when you're using one pixel on one account, you can always share your audiences. And that's where the money is. You gotta remember, it's like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. All the, pic the pixel does is send the data back to the ad account, but the optimization happens at the ad account level on, on the server side. The pixel's just a script. So if anything, what you should be worried about, what you can do with multiple ad accounts and what you should be backing up is sharing your custom audiences with other accounts and use the same pixel. That's when I would do it, right? Because again, everything happens at the ad account level. All the optimization happens at the ad account level. So you can always share your audiences. So that's my take on having multiple pi pixels or having a single picture, uh, picture, pixel. So I hope that information helps. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, please help support the channel by clicking the links in the description below. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads and everything to digital media marketing related, make sure to click one of the videos right above me and I will see you guys in the next video.